So confidence, we're all gonna have a week or a day, like today or some other day, where things don't go right. Or even worse, days are gonna occur that are gonna make you feel like you should never have gotten up. Or in the very worst case, you'll feel like you never should have been born at all. And these days sap your confidence and will to live. So I want to give you some advice with regards to how to equip yourself with some shielding to protect you from that. Now, if I was talking or listening to myself, I'd say what Henry just told me, the day took away my confidence. How is confidence going to shield me? And this is how. Your confidence, or think of someone who's been successful, someone you admire, right? Where does their confidence come from? In my research, the confidence comes from something. It comes from doing what you love and having the feeling that no matter what happens, you always have this. For instance, when people are working, people who are the happiest are working at something, they're not so worried about failing. They just enjoy the work they do. For those of us who are mortal, you know, we're not the superheroes of, of, of media and industry, those are our hobbies. Those are things we do for fun that allow us to feel confident and strong. You know, CEO of the company that I work for has said that it's really important to have hobbies. And when he said it, I thought, <laughs> whatever, dude, you know, you work 24 hour days. But that's not true. There are hobbies and skills, playing the guitar, for instance, dancing, you know, drawing pictures, touching others in, 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 you know, by volunteering and things of that nature, things that build you enough confidence to where when you feel like you didn't need to exist, you know that there are people and places that are enriched by your presence. There are experiences in life yet worth experiencing. There's still that challenge ahead to play the guitar in front of a group of people that's still there, that still needs to be achieved. You know, sometimes you can remember when people patted you on the back and you said, you know what, well, if you could do that, you can do this. Exactly how you acquire that confidence, that's a whole different talk altogether. But if you have things that you feel confident about, write them down, put them on a piece of paper, and the next time the world goes, hey, what's up, uppercut, <laughs> you can look down while you're cl collapsing and look at this list and hopefully it'll allow you to see, you know what? I am lovable, I am capable, and gosh darn it, people like me. Have a great day.